Oh, hey there. Hello there. Welcome. Elton McFall here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, on a, another typical winter crappy day. It's a perfect day to be inside and take care of business as I've been doing, cleaning off my whole table here and, you know, flipping over the tablecloth and just making, getting rid of clutter. And this, this corner as well here, getting rid of that, some stuff there. There was a table there in a vacuum. It was just getting too much clutter. It's starting to look like a hoarder, you know? Anyway, as for some time, I had been wanting to, uh, to uh, address, uh, reply, acknowledge your comments, uh, because a lot of you guys love to comment. And, you know, I never, I'm always too lazy to, you know, reply to each comment that I get right away. And so, or, so I figured, you know, why not just, it's more fun and interactive in a way to make a video of me replying to your comments, like acknowledge them. And, and you, of course, hopefully you see my reply and, or sorry, watch this video for my reply and get my reaction because I'm an emotional guy. So, uh, let's get to it. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. There has been a lot of comments lately. Uh, well, a lot of comments. I just got over 39,000 subscribers. And if you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, you have not, you're not obligated to. It actually doesn't really make a difference in terms of income that I make or that, uh, or really of views, I think, anyway, from what I'm convinced. Now, there's my good friend Grant from Cool Trains Montreal. He's got a great train channel. Films trains like myself, but he's a hardcore train guy, unlike me. And he's replying to a video I just posted today of this sunny walk around NDG where I mentioned something about the tree disease. I always uh, forget what the disease is called. There it is, Ash Borer. Thanks a lot there, uh, Grant. And then we have, of course, Mr. Uh, uh, Julian Tran always replies with the, um, uh, what do they call emoticons? That's for the, this video I put today, the Via Rail Trains video. Here's another comment, well, comment in his own fashion for the the sunny walk. And then uh, there's a video from an ex-friend of mine's collection of uh, amazing vintage toy truck collection. His garage is really fantastic. Uh, I was happy to film that. Uh, yeah, you see what this guy writes right here. Yeah, no kidding, man, no kidding. Uh, I had that Winnebago too. There it is uh, on the right, and uh, that, yeah, that's definitely probably one of the most uh, expensive uh, Tonkas ever made because now Winnebago's are hotter than ever, right? Because they've aged and people travel more by them. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Sebastian Rath, always re replying and appreciating the typical comments uh, for, uh, for the trucking videos that I put up, uh, I don't know, once a week, I guess. Still far behind. I posted this one yesterday, January 2nd, the 4th. Uh, so we're just over a month behind. Today is the the 9th of uh, February, and I'm getting the weather for I don't know where the hell I don't some kind of feed, but it's not sunny at all. I wish it was. Sure wish there was, but it won't be until Saturday, I, I hope, because uh, when it gets warm like this, like right now, let's look at the weather. Uh, Montreal, Canada, and it's after 2 p.m. It says mostly cloudy. No, it's... It's cloudy. It's cloudy. But look, it's one. So whenever you get t temperatures that are warm like this, it's going to be cloudy, unfortunately. So then we got the uh, 34 minutes of uh, snow plowing Montreal, Canada. That was not a quick video to put together. It took me over an hour easily to edit all those clips in. Thank you very much, Mr. Snoopy or I know you're a long time watcher. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is a French viewer from Quebec, Shirley, uh, who was commenting about another person, a chick uh, who films snorkels in Montreal, and I don't want to acknowledge her name because, I don't know, I just, I don't know, she got a, you know, I'm a little bit jealous, I'll be honest, because she got a cab ride in the tractor or whatever, and it's only because she's a chick for crying out loud. Uh, and then Monsieur Daniel Litkim, he writes another comment about the snow removal operation in the NDG that I put up uh, recently. He says he loves uh, that to watch the snow removal operations. He says it's uh, it's very special and uh, and to 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 watch these guys uh, operate and work. Absolutely, absolutely, vraiment, c'est de raison là. Uh, yes, Mr. Paul Sheehan, another loyal subscriber. Thank you for watching, buddy. Uh, yes, you know me with my shitty eyesight. I could not see the mileage on my buddy's 63 Pontiac Parisienne with the inline six cylinder, 57,000 miles, just shy of 600,000 miles. Uh, this guy, I don't understand. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Her, it was a man who, who interrupted my, uh, uh, my filming, uh, 
Oh, actually, no. You know what? I don't know. I didn't know, sir. I think I'm confusing this with another video. So we're just going to skip this all together because I don't know whatever letter win. Uh, what do we got here now? So another comment for the 24 minutes of snow plowing Montreal. Um, yeah, this is in reference to a comment from Mr. Jonathan. I don't know. I think he's in the Gatineau. He says he doesn't like those, uh, those, I think he doesn't like those, uh, I think he doesn't like those little miniature winning, like wheel loader tractors. They're just, uh, they're not, uh, they're not, they don't hold very, they don't hold the road very well. Well, look, he, this guy knows this stuff better than me. I'm not an expert on heavy equipment at all. I know really basics. He says, I don't like them either, Ottawa. See, this is the kind of a very technical kind of a comment. He's talking about, uh, we don't like them either in Ottawa. They're using John Deere and Bombardier or the holder. I don't know what holder. I don't know what that is. But the giant bucket of salt. Uh, anyway, dude, I appreciate your comment. I saw it. And uh, continue watching uh, Mr. Jonathan Icano, Master Bakuna. Thank you again, uh, Mr. Uh, Snoopy Anwar, uh, Snoopy RSSRC uh, for the NDG uh, appreciation uh, snow removal video. By the way, see, I'm trying to make this as quickly as possible now because there's a lot of comments. Again, thank you again, Mr. Sebastian Rat, for your uh, patronage to the heavy equipment uh, videos and uh, you love the trucking videos. And you're one of the reasons I make those videos for and upload those videos. Here is another one commenting. He likes that one too, the snow removal operations. We're in the same boat. We're in the same... Uh, type of people there, you know. Uh, it's nice somebody finally commented on this car. I was a little disappointed it didn't get more um, attraction, I guess, because it's kind of ugly, but it's so cool because it's so ugly and weird. It's a very rare Canadian 61 Meteor Mont Count Coupe, as you can see in the video. Uh, they were probably only, uh, they probably made only, I wouldn't be surprised if they not even made a thousand of them. Um... This is a total car guy, this guy. He knows his stuff, too. And, uh, well, your comment is true, and it's not true. It would have been true if you would have came here, like, you know, uh, freaking 50 years ago or more. But, I mean, again, the fact that I saw this car, I have no idea where this car is from. I'm not. I'm sure it's not from Montreal. It could be from West Montreal. Chances are it's from the Eastern Townships. could be as far as Quebec City. But Quebec City is like, come on, it's like almost three hours. So that's a lot of gasoline, which is very expensive, running uh, probably a 352 in that thing. Uh, thank you very much again, uh, Mr. Julium Tran, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Uh, the on the uh, DG Snow Removal Operation got a lot of hits. This video look got a lot of hits, a lot of comments. Here's another comment here. Oh yeah, well, look at this guy. Camera is moving too much. Annoying. Sorry. Uh, yeah, whatever, buddy. Listen, this isn't uh, PBS, uh, NBC, CBS. Uh, this is not CFCF. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, so time to time, I'm not going to be perfect with the camera, okay? Like, uh, these guys were moving fast. I have to act quickly. So uh, I was going to say sorry, but no, uh, I don't even know why you're apologizing because you're, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm not sorry. So, And uh, I think I blocked... When I get stupid comments like that, I, I pretty much block the person. I don't, I don't want to hide them from the channel. I don't want to know that crap. You know what I mean? See, this is a nice comment, eh? Mr. Uh, James out of uh, Vancouver, I believe, eh? Uh, thanks, buddy. I uh, don't know if you're a fireman or a fire buff, but you're definitely a fan of the big, big heavy. What are you doing there? Eh? Glorious board. Uh, yeah, uh, dude, I hope you see this comment because uh, I, I don't understand. I mean, are you subscribed or what? Because, yeah, you see... There, I'm not even going to say anything. Look, there's your comment. Now, I now on the snow removal videos, again, today is the 9th of February. Just to uh, just to make it clear, so I think there's a big storm in the forecast maybe next week, but again, that's going to depend on the temperature. Sorry, I'm holding the phone with the other hand because my other hand is freaking tired of holding now. It's kind of heavy after a while. And uh, so we'll see what happens there. Other than that, there's no more snow removal videos. That's it. I uploaded them all. And the snow plowing compilation was the uh, the uh, the end of it. Thanks again, Paul, for clarifying the mileage on that. Uh, this incredible Grand Parisian 67. Um, you know, there's a good chance that could have been rolled over because people did that. That was pretty common back then, especially with used car dealers. Uh, it might have just been, I think the car 
was probably completely restored and they, they put the odometer back to zero. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, video what a CN train at Santa Moss Street. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I saw your Mr. At 70 Carlton. Uh, the, you know, uh, hey now, Elton, uh, ever consider a power pack in your pocket? With a USB charging cable to the camera phone, could you record all day with no filming? I get by okay. Plus, I got the camera now too. You know, uh, yeah, I know. I, 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 maybe I would do it. I don't know. Like I said, I got two batteries. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I think it, obviously, uh, you know, I wasn't used to this camera, and uh, the cold is the worst for for uh, digital cameras. Lithium batteries they don't last, especially rechargeables. They don't last as long. Ah, yes, the random video. I'm very proud of this series because it doesn't really have to do much about cars. It's more about design, art, architecture, street scenes. Uh, I'm going to be taking the Metro clips out, actually. I'm going to be putting... I'm going to start, actually, uh, sometime soon, I'm going to start to, once again with the Montreal Metro uh, videos, clips from different stations and stuff. So that's uh, just because uh, those are very popular, and the Metro is very popular, and I fell out of that for a while, so, or a long while. Uh, thank you very much, Wayne Dude 2959 I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, so nobody could say it never applied to any comments, because I'm doing it right now, such as here, the beautiful snow removal job in uh, Dorval, that was last week. Uh, no, the, the, the parked cars don't get towed because they only, they'll do one side of the street, as you saw in that video or my other videos, then the next day, usually they do the, uh, the other side of the street. Comment here regarding an intriguing, uh, Peugeot 504 that I've also seen driven, uh, two, three times, which is several blocks from my place. Uh, guy writes here, Mr. Rubberduck. This is a reference to a movie, by the way, I believe. My dad had a 504 in white with a tan interior back in the late 70s. I love, by the way, these comments of people had old cars or somebody had an old car in the old days. I love that. His brother came back from doing a tour in Europe and bought the Persia, brought the Persia with him. He needed a bigger car as the family was growing, so my dad exchanged the Pontiac he had at the time for it. He enjoyed it for a few years until sourcing parts started to become expensive and time consuming. It was rare to see in Canada ever that. Gloria, why do you keep moving around? What's the matter with you? What do you want? What's wrong with you? Why do you keep moving back around like that? Hey, she's all the Twitter now because I cleared up all the junk, all the stuff that was here to vacuum. And she's probably happy because that vacuum I put in the closet right there because she's scared of the damn thing. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rubber Duck uh, 3138. Uh, oh, Mr. Ryan Hector, uh, this guy is a big, big bus fan, among other things. Enjoyed the coaches driving in Montreal. It's a 100 out of 10. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, I'm going to be putting together sometime soon a video clips of uh, the Montreal New Flyer buses, which I can't reiterate again. I wish that all the goddamn buses in Montreal STM were, were, were New Flyer. I don't give a shit if Nova buses are better, to be honest with you, because to me... Those new flyers are like the old classics, new looks, Buick, Les Sabres, whatever you can think of that's not perfect and had their flaws. It has a smooth, comfortable, relaxing ride like a goddamn bus always straight out. Had, but unfortunately, no, that's it. You know, every city went gaga for Volvos because they're good buses, Nova bus, which is Volvo, and they have the European design, you know, and it's the wheels are closer together. You see what I'm going to? The wheels are closer together because it's European design because European cities are small. They have to, they don't have room for a big... I'm sorry, it's something I'm very, uh, very, take, take it very personally. New flyer all the way. And again, like I said before, I don't get, I mean, it's, 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 it's interesting in a quiet sense that they're electric, but I don't give a shit. Electric, you know, whatever, diesel, hybrid, they're, they're awesome. They, then they're higher quality built too. They don't, nothing rattle or very, uh, very decent. Uh, again, Mr. Helium Tran, a subscriber with the emoticons. Uh, thank you very much for your replies, even though you're not really writing or anything, but, uh, Mr. Paul Sheen again, 1966 was the first year you could get a three-speed automotive automatic at a big block motor. Thank you, sir. And not only that, did I even mention that was the first year for the 66 Caprice? I sure as hell hope I did, because that's a hell of a honey of a Caprice. The nicest one I've ever seen. Uh, thank you, uh, for Mr. Mrs. Kenny Great Wolf, uh, Great Wolf, blah, 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 great video on this, uh, emergency vehicles responding there. And Gloria, she's, uh. She's still uh, sleuthing. 
Ah, uh, my proudest video so far this year, the 71 volt snowblower to Detroit working in a Montreal suburb. That was really amazing. And thank you. Yes, it was a nice find. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. 1948 Cadillac. If you ever live here in Quebec, I'd definitely love to make a video of that car, I'm sure, regardless of the condition. Uh, the CP Grain Train, right in my neighborhood here. I am actually got a video of that coming up uh, probably today when you're watching this, or might have put it up already. Uh, it says, this is Mr. Train Hobbit, because I say Mr. It's, you know, it's like cars, trains, cars, whatever, motorcycles, it's always guys. Train Hopping Nomad, yes, it looks like a potash train, which is pretty weird here in Hochelaga, and not see much of them, it looks like... Okay, buddy, this is bothering me. Like, I'm sure you're a nice guy and everything. You seem like a cool guy, but I I'm telling you right now, this guy goes on to say basically like this, where he goes to hop on a train. Don't do train hopping. Don't do with this guy. Do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying it's very dangerous. There's no way this guy's going to say it's safe. And I know in life you got to take risks, but uh, people have died from that or arrested. So uh, let alone becoming uh, dismembered. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, anyway, there it goes. Yeah, another comment about the Detroit-powered uh, Vol snowblower. <coughs> Mr. Dana, 9265. That's a very 80s name, eh? Dana, like Dana Carvey. 1970, wow, I also absolutely love it. I'm a 68 model myself. Oh, I was wrong. But that sounds like a six-cylinder 671. I think you're probably right, which explains, explains the big ass end on that tractor. I wouldn't say that for sure, but it sounded reminds you of an unusually when I was ass hands were that long. Yeah, that's what I was just mentioning. Yeah, that's right. He mentions that too about the rear. That is like the longest rear you can imagine on uh, on these uh, these types of blowers, these vols. Very unique. Uh, I think they were made here in Montreal or in Quebec. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, thanks for watching a long time, Mr. DJP25. I uh, uh, always like your comments. Uh, they're always relative and interesting. Uh, catch of the year, yeah, exactly, Mr. Tom Tom J1990. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, yeah, this is really, I wish I could film more stuff like that. I got a contact for a guy who watched my videos out of Beaconsfield, another Montreal western suburbs. And they, that city's got an old... Uh, an old tractor blower and uh, it might be a vol. I don't think it has a Detroit, but it might may, maybe if I'm getting lucky, he'll contact me and I'll, or I'll try to find them and maybe I'll make that a point. I think as I texted him, uh, I think as I texted him recently, uh, we're texting and I said, man, maybe I'll make it a point next time after this, after a snowstorm to go there first uh, to try to find that blower in action. And if he's there, well, Tom, here, so be it. It'll be even, even better. Oh my God, I'm tired of holding the camera like. Okay, we got to do something here because, yeah. Uh, okay, where are we now? It's, what, what do you mean it's little? It's not about size, dude. It's got a Detroit for crying out loud. I mean, uh, anyway. it's cute. East of Source of Dorval. Yeah, that's it. You see, my friend Grant right here was clarifying at, uh, uh, about where I was in, in Dorval when I saw this, and I thought it was point clear, and I could, because my, I'm freaking blind as a bat, bat, I couldn't even see the lettering, the Dorval lettering on the doors or the doors of a truck, and I got confused because I was near the point clear border. Look how many comments this thing got. Here, let's look for fun. Let's see how many views this thing has by now. Uh, I'm trying not to hold the camera with uh, with my left hand. It's so tired. Sixty nine likes, and one point five thousand views. Eh? Oh. oh. I lost my place now, eh? Uh, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, 
this person, Danielle, uh, Daniel Let Kim, another comment, uh, beautiful images with lots of lights. It helps the camera. Yeah, absolutely. I was uh, totally aware of that it was a gorgeous day it was in the suburbs. There's not much shadowing. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, this is again, once again, how I feel Wayne dub here. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for sharing this amazing video. Thank you very much. I, uh, I, I'm very, very proud of it. And I sure as hell hope some of the guys from the city of Dorval, they see it as well. They are proud and, and it makes the city officials, people, the guy in charge of uh, purchasing or the fleet management, not, not retire this just because it's old, if it's still doing the job, eh? And as I mentioned before, you know, I can't reiterate this enough, but the thing is that a lot of stuff is built to last. It's better made in it. And after filming snow removal operations for so many years now, I've noticed that these old blowers, these Vols, Snowmaster SMIs and stuff like that, they just cut right through the snow. There's no stopping them. They don't break. But these modern blowers, man, like that are attached especially to tractors, uh, they're just often plagued with uh, uh, breaking or things getting stuck in the, the chute or the, in the blades, you know. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, another another loyal subscriber. Thank you, Mr. McKay, thirteen forty nine. He says, "I'm sure that retro old school was very happy in catching this uh, classic beauty in 2023." Yeah, obviously. Uh, but this is what's more interesting and disturbing. He writes, "As they enjoy them while they last, because like in ten years or so, everything is going to be electric power." For Christ's sake. Yeah, he's right. That's what I've said, been saying too. This guy wants an old vol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hydro, what a name. Hydro uh, Cops. I don't know what that means. But, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you got a 68 Impala with a 327. I rode it a 68 Impala ragtop once. Beautiful, man. Right at sunset on the highway. In the Oh, man. And uh, I thought I had a 426, but apparently uh, it was... Probably a uh, 327. Oh, hello there, Lenny. Yes, of course. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, thank you for the, the comment. Yeah, I got a nice gift from a subscriber. Filmed an unboxing. Uh, yeah, you know, buddy, uh, Mr. Burnett's another uh, longtime subscriber. I think this guy's out of Ottawa. Uh, I saw your comment. I thought it was interesting. So I Googled the address, and I don't even think it's an old building there anymore. Uh, that's so many old buildings that are gone, uh, sadly, uh, in Montreal or any major city. So uh, this is just an industrial building in, in Côte d'Anais, so it's not uh, necessary to, you know, redo it. How long have I been filming for? This guy's commenting on I love when I get comments also on old videos. Like this one I did several years ago. This was a daily driver for a few years, a mechanic. But this guy went through cars like he went through underwear. Uh, and what happened to it? What do I think? It's probably, I, I hope it survived, but it could have been scrapped. Uh, when I talk about cars in the eighties, even years ago, a few years ago, they're not worth much. So, you know, it's just too bad. And he says, I love the way you describe the beauty of this car. I'm about to buy my first one tomorrow. It's an 84 with a clean body and, and enough for 4,000. Bring everything goes good and leave it with it tomorrow. Well, I hope it worked out for you, buddy. Let me know, Mr. Uh, Rugger Boys uh, 6288. And, uh, hey, it's a GM. You can't go wrong with a GM usually, you know, especially if it's a, what is that, a G body? Uh, you know, especially a 305 V8, the 231 V6. Yeah, it's a good, a very good motor too, but, you know, uh, people want the V8. That's what's worth a bit more. Beautiful Chevy Laguna uh, I filmed a couple of years ago uh, here in Montreal, uh, the Jula. This guy, Mr. Daniel Daniel Fair. I bought a U75 back in 85, blue with black interior and swivel seats. My then girlfriend's older brother had bought it new. He just had the motor rebuilt and dropped about. Well, where's my friggin' cursor? Uh my then girlfriend's older brother had bought it new. He just uh, had the motor rebuilt and had dropped about 1800s on that project. It only got about 10, 12 miles per gallon. Yeah, which was crazy. I owned it for about two years and sold it to buy a 77 four speed Camaro. That's what sucks about these cars in the 70s. You know, even if this thing has a 454 in it, it doesn't matter. Like, it's a great engine, but this is the kind of fuel mileage you're going to get. There's no power, it's almost not even worth it. 
Yeah, a comment regarding the snow clearing on my street. Uh, this person writes, back in the day, the snow was more completely removed in three days after a major storm. Wow, where was this? I'd like to get a, a reply on that, uh, Mr. Dan Moore, because I never heard of that. That's crazy. Yeah, and he writes, of course, how the bike paths are kept cleaner than the streets. Yeah, I noticed that too. I, uh, it's baffling. It's baffling. Or even better, even the bike paths are better than the freaking sidewalks. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Again, it's alluding to a world we're living in. Yeah, they do a great job, Snoopy. They do a great job. Oh, yeah, there's another one I had filmed a few years ago. Fantastic 75 Mercury Grand Marquis that I had seen in Grand Beam. And then I saw in the, here in Montreal, Uncle Buck had a four-door version. No, no, you're incorrect. Uncle Buck had a two-door, and I'm doing a painting of it. Oh, I just dropped a, a uh, what do you call that? Not a clue. Uh, what do you call that? Oh, my God, I'm old school. I forgot the name for that. Uh, oh, well. Somebody else writes a comment about the snow clearing on my street. They write, uh, I noticed cars parked on the side that they are clearing. Why is that? It's usually because they do one side of the street and the next day they do the other side. Yeah, that's right. That's exact. Thank you for answering that. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a video I did several years ago. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, regarding this Plymouth Fury, I actually have one I, I filmed in Granby last year. I've been sitting on the video for a while. That's a 78. And it's a coupe like that. And I'll be putting up that. I'll be putting that up sometime soon. This is another really popular snow removal video I did a, few, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Really uh, a lot of hits. Uh, Aiden McGregor. That's, not, that's definitely not an old person's name, uh, Aiden. Uh, yeah, thanks, Aiden. I do. I love what I do, but yeah, you're right. I try to pace myself and take things more slowly now. Uh, oh, babe, Ed, what's happening, Ed? There's my buddy. I love that scrap, scrap video, scrap. Yeah, and he says uh, he says it's spring in his hometown. Oh boy, six days ago. Okay, boy, I'm telling you, I'm certain. I think we're gonna stop here. Yeah, I've been filming almost half an hour. That's that's how long the last video I did of this was. He always tries to make the effort to write in, to, to write in French. I always like that. He's from Savannah, Georgia. He says, your video is très bien. Merci, mon ami. Thank you. This is in reply to the uh, walking around the uh, RDP sector of the city. And we're going to finish here. Um... Yeah, there's my uh, unboxing video from my big fan, Matt, Matt Smalley out of Massachusetts there. And Mr. Hydro, 73, he writes, I like the old uh, magazine ads of heavy equipment and farm the equipment. I've got a couple myself in old brochures. I, uh, I got equipment brochures from dealers and shows given out free, and people today are paying $5, 10 or even higher for, uh, for what you got, some good stuff. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's why I love what I do. It's, it's not... It's obviously the passion for this stuff. We love vehicles, whatever you, you know, whatever your, right, whatever your weakness is, cars, classic cars, boats, trucks, but it's all about the, anything, like those vehicles going up in value and all that stuff related to them, right? Brochures, advertisements, toys, promo models, model kits, uh, friggin' ashtrays even. It's, it's, 